skeletons, it is Disney Queen Skelly here and welcome back to another versus video. So this is a three part versus video. We haven't had that in a while. Most of them have been like part one and two, which is great. So these, uh, this versus video is going to be for Pirates of the Caribbean here at Disneyland, Pirates of the Caribbean at Disney World, and something called A Pirate's Adventure, Treasures of the Seven Seas, and that is also at Walt Disney World. Um, I have done all three of these. I've obviously been on the Pirates ride here at Disneyland, and it's a lot of fun. I've been on the Pirates ride at Walt Disney World, and it's a lot more, there's a lot more stuff going on, so it's very cool. And I've done that treasure hunt thing. It's, it's really neat. Um, when I was kind of doing research for the treasure hunt, it's funny, because something they mentioned in the article, I did not know while we were there. Um, I'll let you guys know at the end of the, the, when I'm done reading the articles, and then we'll kind of talk about it a bit more. So first we're going to start with Pirates of the Caribbean here at Disneyland. Disneyland's Pirates of the Caribbean, 50 years of change. For the last 50 years and counting, Disneyland's Pirates of the Caribbean Dark Ride has provided a unique pop cultural guidebook on the how-tos of staying relevant. Most recently, at the end of June, when Disney Park announced plans to rework one of the attraction's most controversial scenes, the Bride, Attra the bride Auction. While the modification has generated considerable attention from the proponents and critics alike, it is certainly not the first of this kind. More than any other single attraction, Pirates has evolved with the cultured and pop culture zeitgeist beginning even before its debut, 1967. From museum to boat ride, originally envisioned as a subterranean walkthrough wax museum, an idea that had been tossed back and forth between Walt Disney and the park's Imagineers since the late 50s, Pirates became a water-based dark ride after the unprecedented success of It's a Small World at the 1964 World's Fair, the arena in which Walt Disney published his audio animatronics design. Pirates of the Caribbean opened March 18, 1967, just three months after Walt Disney's death and was the last Disneyland attraction in which Mastermind himself participated. Tucked into the dimly lit underbelly of Disneyland's New Orleans Square, the signature attraction takes guests on a voyage back in time to when to witness bloodthirsty pirates pillaging the Spanish main. 1997. Hansy pirates clean up their act. The semi-humorous marauding proceeded unchanged until the mid-90s, when park visitors began calling out the attraction's marked displays of misogyny, a horde of rowdy pirates chasing a group of women through a ravaged town, a lustful buccaneer in search of a woman hidden hidden and clearly frightened in a barrel nearby. Both scenes were altered to shift the target of the men's desire, food rather than women. 2006, the Hollywood revamp. Unlike many Disney park attractions, Pirates was not based on a film, so in 2003, Disney based a film on the ride. Following the Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, the first leg of what would become a full-fledged franchise, several of the film's leading characters were incorporated into the Disneyland attraction, carefully timed to coincide with the premiere of the second Pirates installment, three of the films, Frontierman, Jack Sparrow, Johnny Depp, Davy Jones, Bill Nye, and Captain Barbosa, Jeffrey Rush, were memorialized as audio-animatronic versions of their on-screen characters. 2018. Women are of the market for or are off the market for good. According to Disney's projected model for the updated for an updated auction sequence, the 2018 modifications are slated to flip the script entirely. In addition to replacing its current overhead banner, which reads auction, take a wench for a bride, with one that says surrender your loot. The ride will also reposition one of the women, a red-haired character currently displayed as the auction's ultimate prize. She is accompanied by a voiceover that shouts, we want the redhead. Disney plans to remodel her so that she remains the scene's focal point, only now as one of the commanding rifle-slinging pirates. Next, we will be looking at the Pirates of the Caribbean at Walt Disney World. Open December 15, 1973. Ride length, 8 minutes, 30 seconds. Overview slash history. If you haven't heard of Pirates of the Caribbean, you've probably just arrived from another planet. Pirates is the attraction that the incredibly popular Pirates of the Caribbean movies are based on, which has now become the attraction that is based on the movies. Sound confusing? It really isn't, and thus the ride only gotten better with the addition of Captain Jack Sparrow. The imposing fortress of the en of, at the end of the Adventureland is home to the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. The queue twists and turns in a darkened coal underground cavern that leads to, the, to a boat ride. After a close encounter with Blackbeard and Davy Jones, you'll float through a cave that leads to a quick dark plunge. As your boat enters the main area, you'll find yourself in the midst of a battle with cannon shots whizzing by. 
Captain Barbosa himself shouts orders from the pirate ship. Be on the lookout for Captain Jack Sparrow. He'll pop up from a barrel, peek from behind a mannequin, and at the conclusion of the ride, he's atop a mountain of booty. The new auction scene made its debut on March 19, 2018. The attraction is fun for all ages, while the original audio animatronics are a bit simplistic in comparison to the latest editions, the detail is amazing. There's realistic costuming, unique facial features, and even hairy legs on the pirate swinging his legs from the bridge. Listen and you'll hear a familiar song made even more popular by the movie. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. Unfortunately, while the ride purists initially objected to the planned changes, the Pirates of the Caribbean movies have only made this attraction better. Think of the movie version of the Country Bears and you see what a disaster it might have been. The Pirates of the Caribbean ride is quick loading and each boat holds about 30 people. Fast pass, yes. Handicap accessibility. Guests in wheelchairs must be able to transfer to the ride vehicle. Last but not least, we will be discussing a Pirates Adventure Treasure of the Seven Seas at Walt Disney World. Captain Jack needs your help. Head over to the crow's nest and pick up a talisman that, might, that magically allows you to read a secret treasure map. Then it's all hands on deck as you fend off enemies, evade capture, and hunt for treasure. When you complete each mission, you'll receive a very special treasure finder card. After you collect all five, you'll get your hands on the sixth and final card signed by Captain Jack Sparrow himself, calling all marauders. Get ready to raid the treasure of the seven seas. Know before you go. There is no fee to participate. You may start your adventure up until 30 minutes before Adventureland closes. Use your magic band or card or pick up a magic talisman, a special card for this attraction, at the crow's nest in Adventureland. Each of the five missions takes approximately 20 minutes to complete. Missions have no time limit. In addition, you can stop and restart each raid at your convenience throughout the day. So yeah, I the treasure hunt was actually super fun when we did it. It's funny because when we when we did it, um, I had only heard about it because I had watched like YouTube videos on it and I told hubby, I was like, we got to do this treasure hunt thing. But what the guy had told us when we actually went was that if you did two, you got like a special, like you got special cards. And then when you did three, you got a a fast pass for the ride. I did not know that if you completed all five missions, you get a card signed by Captain Jack Sparrow. Like, that's not fair. <laughs> we should have done all five. But in my opinion, that treasure hunt is super fun. I love the Pirates of the Caribbean here and at Walt Disney World. I have no specific favorite, but if you guys do, let me know in the comment section down below uh, if you have a favorite. And if you've actually gotten the Captain Jack Sparrow card, please let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to know if that they are still doing that. So anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. Bye little skeletons. Stay safe. I love you guys.